A certain magical index has some great fights, but the ones that stick out the most are the ones with the ideological battles. This adds complexity because the opponents usually have pure goals but are using questionable means to obtain it or have a biased perspective due to a past trauma. In Toma's first battle, he faces off against two members of Necessarius, Style and Calorie. The reason for their battle is an ideological difference. Because Index has photographic memory and she has to memorize 103,000 grimoires, her memories must be periodically wiped, causing her to forget all of her friends, otherwise she'll die. Style and Kaori don't necessarily like this, but they believe that there's no other way. Toma on the other hand doesn't think that this is right and dislikes the fact that they are ignoring Index's feelings. This along with the fact that Style and Kaori accidentally harmed Index causes the two sides to battle. Though Toma beats Style and Kaori beats Toma, the battle ends when Toma shows the two that the church was lying to them. It's revealed that humans can store up to 140 years of memory, and that the church placed a spell in Index that will kill her if her memories aren't erased. When Toma negates this spell, the conflict between the two sides are solved. Toma's next ideological battle is against Oriolus Izzard. Oriolus, who was Index's friend but was forgotten, still believes that Index has to have her memories periodically erased to keep her alive, so he wants to make her immortal by turning her into a vampire. But he's using a girl named Isa as a tool to achieve his goal, which puts him in conflict with Style and Toma. This ideological battle is unique because the problem was already solved before the battle started. It's just that Oriolus wasn't aware of this. So once he was defeated, both sides got what they desired. The next battle is a little different. Accelerator is killing Misaka clones so that he can become a level 6 Esper. Toma views the clones as actual people, so he wants Accelerator to stop. Accelerator is strange because he is already the strongest Esper in Academy City by a long shot, yet he still wants to become even stronger. This perspective paints Accelerator as a psychopath and offers no middle ground for the two. Toma wins, but the ideological battle just kinda fades away, rather than being solved. It's only until later that Last Order reveals that Accelerator actually might not have wanted to kill the clones, and was forced into this, fully resolving the conflict between Toma and Accelerator. Then comes Etzali. His organization fears that the Kamijo faction is disrupting the balance of the world, so his goal is to shapeshift into Misaka and create distrust among Toma's friends. While on his mission, he gets another goal, protecting Misaka. His goal of creating distrust along with harming people puts him at odds with Toma. Toma doesn't wish to be taken out, so the two fight and Etzali is defeated. Though his issue with the Kamijo faction isn't resolved, Etzali's goal of protecting Misaka is concluded when Toma promises to protect her instead. Yamisaka Oma is his next opponent. Oma wants to save this woman that he loves from her curse. He concludes that using the grimoires and in index is his key to saving her. His plan to capture index and extract the grimoires from her puts him against Toma. The issue is perfectly resolved when Toma reveals that Oma doesn't need the grimoires because he can use his Imagine Breaker to dispel the woman's curse instead. Toma's next ideological battle is against Sherry Cromwell. Sherry believes that the conflict between the magic and science sides caused her friend Ellis to die. So she wants to start trouble in Academy City to start a war between the two sides as a form of revenge. Toma wants both sides to be at peace, so they fight. During their battle, Sherry reveals that she is conflicted, both wanting and not wanting a fight between the two sides. Toma points out that her true wish is for Ellis to not have been killed, and in the final moments of the battle, he also realizes that Sherry wished for someone to stop her, which he does in the end, solving the issue. And finally, Vento of the Front. Vento hates science because when she was younger, her brother and her were both injured in an amusement park ride. Due to their rare blood type, the only option was to sacrifice one to let the other live, so her brother chose to sacrifice his life for her. When Toma fights her, she uses this as a reasoning, but Toma points out that her unfortunate accident was unintentional, along with the fact that her brother made a brave decision that she should respect. When Toma defeats her, their ideological battle is concluded because on the inside, she knows that what she's doing is wrong, but on the outside, she's just being stubborn. By adding in an interesting ideological battle within a physical confrontation, Index is able to flesh out his combatants as characters and allow its viewers to understand the antagonists. This makes sure that the antagonists aren't just villains for Toma to defeat, but actual characters with motivations and reasons for their actions. The fact that all of his opponents have some kind of flaw in their reasoning also ties in well with Toma's motto of breaking the opponent's illusions, as whenever he defeats them, they usually realize the error in their ways and switch sides. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter, like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content.